Question on all two-stroke lovers' minds, is KTM's transfer port injection the new two-stroke standard? So we decided to find out. KTM imports the 250 XCW TPI and the identical standard KTM 250 XCW. First of all, you need to understand that the TPI system has not earned any kind of approval in the US. It's still imported as a closed course vehicle, just like the full tilt motocross bike. Right now, America isn't the focus of the new technology. It was developed for the Euro 4 standards on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Over there, you can get a street legal version of the XCW but it comes with drastic measures to make the cut. Stuff like a very restrictive exhaust system and a throttle stop. A limited number of TPI two-strokes were sent to America minus the restrictions. The fuel system is remarkably compact. The key components are the injectors that spray fuel directly into the ports as the air moves from the crankcase to the combustion chamber. Prior to that, the clean air is drawn through the Del Ordo throttle body. That creates an obvious problem of crankcase lubrication. Normally, the rod and main bearing of a two-stroke are lubricated by the oil you mix in the fuel. With this design, no fuel ever gets to the lower end, so oil injection is necessary. There's a separate oil tank with a filler right behind the steering head and an oil sprayer in the engine take between the throttle, butterfly, and reed. Everything else on the KTM 250 XCW with TPI is identical to the standard 250 XCW with a carburetor. And in case you haven't heard, it's one of the greatest off-road motorcycles ever built. It has an electric start and a kickstarter backup. The gearbox is a six-speed. The clutch has a diaphragm spring and is actuated by a Brembo hydraulic system. Brakes are Brembo. The rear suspension has no linkage. It's the latest generation of the PDS system that debuted in 1997. Up front, the WP Explore 48 fork is used. Both machines come stock with Dunlop AT81 tires. What everybody really wants to know is, how do they run? The carbureted version has a harder hit and just a little more power in the mid-range. The TBI bike is smoother down low and runs even better at super low RPM. In roll-on drag races, the two bikes are almost identical. Another difference between the two is a certain glitch that occasionally arises on the injection bike. It sometimes will hesitate if you rev the motor and drop the clutch. It's definitely worth a mention that the carbureted bike has glitches of its own. It's just that we're so familiar with them that they're almost invisible. Right now, TPI technology is just getting off the ground. The carbureted two-stroke has decades of development, yet the two are very close in performance. In America right now, there are only a few circumstances where the fuel-injected two-stroke is really an advantage. One of those, of course, is if you ride in the mountains at high elevations. Another is if you want to squeeze every last mile out of your fuel tank. The TPI machine does get better fuel mileage. We expect development to come rapidly, just like it did in the four-stroke world. Will this mean more new two-strokes in the future? We hope so. For the full test, check out the April issue of Dirt Bike Magazine or head over to dirtbikemagazine.com. 
for all the latest off-road industry news. Hey, you got some more time on your hands? Check out these videos we just released. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.